When Dorman High School came to play the Teohanna Yellow Jackets in the third round of the 5A playoffs, the weather was miserable. It was cold, it was windy, and it was raining. Hannah entered the game undefeated. The game reminded one of two heavyweights slugging it out. But late in the fourth quarter, Hannah stopped Dorman, took the ball, and marched it into the end zone. Final score, 35 to 28. Afterward, coach Jeff Heron talked about his team and the weather. Hey, you know, Dorman's got a great team, a lot of tradition. Coach Gustav is a great football coach. I've been impressed with him since I saw him last year in the scrimmage. And my hat's off to them because they really, really played well. And our guys did too. I don't know what else. I, you know, if we had been on the other side of the score, I don't know what I would have said to our guys because literally I think both teams did everything they could do. It was a little cold, a little wet. Uh, you know, our fans that came out, I really appreciate them. And uh, to those that didn't, shame on them. It was a great football game. And uh, the weather, you know, I don't know if it played a factor or not. I really thought both teams handled the weather pretty well. And uh, again, I hope it's not this cold next week. I'm getting too old for that. With his thoughts on the game, here is the Jackets play-by-play -play announcer, Frank Alexander. From my vantage point, being in a warm press box, it was a terrible night for football. Uh, as high as we were, you could see, actually see the rain blowing from left to right. This was the first victory we had had over Dorman since 1969. They're a powerhouse. I think they came in a little overconfident. They could not stop our running game. And with that being said, I think the better of the two teams won. To go down and, and score a touchdown with a minute and eight seconds left is truly remarkable. Friday night, we're going to host Burns. We've played Burns. 15 times in history, we've only won three. Now, Burns is a strong program. They are averaging 236 yards a game passing this year. Of course, we're averaging 321 yards a game rushing. So it should be a real interesting game. We're gonna to have to contain their pass. They're gonna to have to contain our rush. But with that being said, uh, I, th I think the Hannah Yellow Jackets are, are up to the task. I think they're on a mission. They have been since the second loss to Greenwood here last year. But Burns is tough. They've always been tough. The winner of the game, Friday and Anderson, which by the way starts at 7.30, will advance to the state championship game in Columbia to play the winner of Dutch Fork or Somerville, Saturday night, December the 8th.